last thing is how to handle the inner block permeabilities, right? We just labeled them as uh, we just labeled them, say, uh, k i plus a half j, right? Uh, so we need to give that some value, and um, it comes from the harmonic mean, just like we did in 1D. But if we have both uh, heterogeneous permeability and heterogeneous grid block size, then this guy will be I'm going to go ahead and write kx to indicate the, in, in case we had a permeability that was a, a, a full tensor permeability, then the permeability in the x direction. So we have that, and then, you know, correspondingly, T X. Just like we had written down before. Also for the Y direction then, so if we have K J plus this. So um, these indicate the, the i plus a half to, to get the formulas for i minus a half, then you just, sub, you know, everywhere there's an i plus a half, you'd, you'd say i plus, I'm sorry, everywhere there's an i plus a value, then it would just be i minus a value. So I think you can figure that out. Um, of course, in the case that, uh, you know, if we do have a reservoir that's homogeneous, isotropic, with a constant permeability, which of course I guess that's uh, homogeneous takes care of that. So homogeneous and isotropic, then all of the T's just equal T, which is equal to our standard definition from before. Where delta X is uh, constant in the X and Y direction. <coughs> 